Welcome back to what we call Pastor Talks here at the Christian Church, Loudoun County. I take time every week and I share in my time in the Word in the hopes to be an encouragement to you in your walk with Christ. My prayer is that you'll take this encouragement and share it with the other people that God's placed in your life. Today I want to talk about what it means to be in Christ. All throughout the New Testament, we find in Jesus, in Christ alone, to be in him, to put him on. All of these images um, don't leave us with a whole lot of explanation as to what that means or how do we know if we're in Christ. John chapter 15 gives us a parable uh, that can help us to understand. I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. To be in Christ is to be in alignment with the Spirit of God. To be in him, to clothe ourselves in him, to put on Christ is to have our life be in alignment with, to be in step with the way of Jesus, the way of the Spirit, the will of God, the movements of his Spirit in the world. That's what that means. But how do we know? How do we know if we are in him? Well, Jesus makes it very clear. The person who is in him, who abides in Christ, who remains, who stays for a long period of time for your life, who abides in him, they bear fruit. Well, what does that mean? How? What is fruit? Fruit is more than just work. Um, you don't just do good things. You produce the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is laid out for us in the New Testament, probably a teaching that's been passed through the apostles to the early church. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, self-control. These are the fruits of the Spirit. And so we can do all kinds of things with our life. We can use our gifts. We can use our knowledge. We can use the things that we have learned. We can do good things. But if it doesn't produce the fruit of the Spirit, then we are not in step with the Spirit. To pray for someone, but to have that prayer not produce love, joy, peace, patience, is to pray a prayer that might not be in alignment with the Spirit. To share the word with someone, to declare the word of God to someone, but have it not produce love or joy or peace or patience, is to not be bearing the fruit of the Spirit. Now, this fruit of the Spirit, love, is a subjective term Peace is a subjective term. Joy is a subjective term. All of these things from person to person, I can say, how do you define love? And you'll give me a different answer. And this is where we piggyback on what we talked about last week. We have to lean into the Lord to help us to understand, to give us the eyes to see what we can't see on our own. What does it mean to produce the love of the Spirit? What does it mean to produce the peace of the Spirit, the joy of the Spirit in a person's life? Not what I've decided is love, not what I've decided is peace, not what I've decided is patience, but what the Spirit has told me is patience. And so as we look at our life and we seek to be in Him, we have to be producing His fruit. We have to be in the vine so that we can produce His fruit. And so as we look at our life and as we pray through these things, here is my encouragement to you. Jesus is offering to you life through the vine. And not 
just eternal life, not just some far and distant thing, but life now. Life from experiencing the fruit that your life produces. You will produce and experience in yourself love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. All of those things are experienced in Christ. All of these things are shared in Christ. All of those things come out of you naturally in Christ. Be encouraged that the life that Jesus is offering you today to be grafted into the vine is nothing but good for you. And it's as simple as acknowledging and walking with him as he grafts more and more of your life into him. You will slowly but surely, day by day, be transformed into the image of his son. That being said, my challenge to you is to examine yourself and look at the fruit that your life is producing. Are you producing the fruit of the Spirit? Are you grafted into the vine? Pray and reflect and seek after the Lord in that regard today. And I hope that the rest of your day is blessed. Let me pray that over you. Father, as we seek to bring glory to your name and extend your kingdom to places where there's nothing but darkness, Father, help us to produce the fruit of the kingdom, to be fountains of living water that spray on all around us love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness, self-control. Father, let us produce your fruit, not the fruit of the world, not the fruit of the enemy, but the fruit of you, the fruit of your spirit. Let us be in alignment with you and walk in step with your spirit for your glory and your namesake. It's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen.